What's up guys, this is Steve and today I'm going to show you how you can get Android L on either your Nexus 7 or your Nexus 5. Uh, this guide will work for both of them, you just need to make sure you download the right file in the description. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into it, so enjoy the video. So the first thing you're going to need is your device to put Android L on. I'm going to be using my Nexus 7 tablet as I've already done this on my Nexus 5. Next thing you're going to need is a laptop. I'm using a MacBook, but if you go to the link in the description, there are links for both Mac and Windows for doing this. So then the third thing you need are these two files. The first is Android.zip. This is the Android SDK. This is what actually allows you to flash this. And the second thing is the actual image file that you're going to get. Both links to these are in the description. I'm going to put a link in the description to a guide by AndroidBeat.com. It's a really useful guide. It's effectively what I'm following through here but I'm going to just show you it on a computer so you guys can actually see all the steps which should hopefully make it a little bit clearer for anyone who isn't quite um, quite confident enough to follow it from the website. But a big thanks to those guys for providing the guide and all the download links. So the first thing you need to do when you've downloaded those is get your android.zip file and you're going to move it to your desktop. I'm also just going to move this to the desktop as well just to keep everything clearer. So once you're on your desktop you want to unzip the android.zip folder using whichever unzipping utility you've got on your laptop. Once that folder's been created, grab the image and drop it into that folder. You then want to right click on the image inside the folder and extract that as well. When they're extracted they'll be in a different folder, you just want to get them all and drag them into the Android folder, then just delete the empty folder. So now you should have a folder on your desktop called just Android and it should have ADB, Fastboot, the image, flashall.bat, flashall.sh, flashbase.sh and imageraiser.zip. If you're using a Nexus 5 this will be called image hammerhead but it's exactly the same thing. The next thing you need to do is open up a terminal. Once you've got your terminal you need to navigate to this Android folder here. The easiest way to do this is right click on the folder in Finder, hit get info and then copy from where it says where. Then go to your terminal, type cd, space, control v, then hit another slash and type android. And you'll now be in that folder. So next you need to grab your USB cable, plug it into your MacBook or your PC. So you plug it in, then turn your Android phone or tablet off. Once your device is turned off, you need to boot it into fastboot mode. And there's two ways of doing this depending on whether you're using a Nexus 5 or a Nexus 7. On a Nexus 5, you want to hold down volume up and down and the power button, so all three. Um, if you're using a Nexus 7, you just want to hold on the side volume down and the power button. And I apologise for this awful autofocus. And that will boot you into this bootloader mode. Then you just want to check that your laptop or your PC or whatever you're using has actually, um, is actually reading your tablet or your phone. You want to go back to your terminal. If you're on a Mac, you need to prefix this with a dot and a slash. And then you will type in fast boot devices, and this will just check that your device is connected. Now, if you have issues with this, the most common problem is the USB cable you're using. So, if you've got two or three different USB cables, mess around with them. You want to get one that will just always work. And the next thing you need to do is unlock this thing. So, again, dot slash if you want a Mac, and you want to type in fast boot OEM unlock. And that will prompt this screen on your phone or your tablet. You want to just use the volume up and down to scroll to yes, hit power, and that will unlock your bootloader. Now in your fast boot mode, you should see it says lock state unlocked. If the autofocus catches up, there we go. So you're nearly done. Again, if you're on a Mac, do a dot and a slash. You want to type in flash, and then a dash, then all, and then dot sh, and then hit enter. There is a fairly common bug here, or an error, or whatever you want to call it where it'll say command not found. So what you want to do is go to the flashall.sh file, double click on it to open it. There we go, and it'll open as a text document. And then what you want to do is before all of these commands at the bottom, just type that dot and that slash before where it says fastboot. And also where it says sleep. Then you just want to save that, go back to your terminal and try that again. So dot, dot slash flash all dot sh, hit enter. So if you think it's not doing anything, if you get like an error, error line like that, just leave it and it'll start to clock underneath and will um, 
should all work still. If you get the USB read arrow like I just did then, it's probably the fault of your cable. So I've just swapped another cable. And I'm going to try again. So flash all dot sh. And this is the point at which a cup of tea comes in handy. And then once all that's done, you'll see this nice new Android L buzzing sort of boot screen kind of thing. And that means you're all done. Just let your device reboot. It can often take upwards of sort of five to ten minutes when you first flash um, a firmware like this or a ROM. But uh, just let that run through and don't worry about it. Make yourself another cup of tea. So you should now have Android L on your Nexus 5 or your Nexus 7, guys. It's pretty simple. Comment below if there's anything um, that you got stuck with. To be honest, the main thing for me is if anything does go wrong, it's probably going to be the USB cable. So just make sure it's a decent USB cable. Do the um, do the fast boot check devices thing and you should all be fine. I'm going to be doing a video on how to root your Nexus 5 or your Nexus 7 once it is on Android L. So if you haven't seen me before, please subscribe and you'll know when that comes out. Please like this video if it was useful. I know I've been doing this new schedule of doing Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I'm probably going to stop doing that now because the only reason I did it was to try and motivate myself to make more videos. But I'm really enjoying doing this again. I'm really enjoying engaging with all of you guys. I know I've got loads of new subscribers. So you guys are, um, are obviously liking stuff and you're interacting, which is great. So I'm probably going to start just doing stuff whenever and wherever, so hopefully I'm going to be doing more than three videos a week. In fact, today I've got about six or seven videos I can hopefully film, so hopefully all that will be done. But as I said, subscribe if you haven't seen it before, hit that like button, that really, really does help, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.